Welcome back. Let's address some of the very important ideas about absolute values and absolute value equations. First problem is going to be related to definition of absolute values. The question goes like this. Find all possible values of this expression where ABC are non-zero real numbers. So let's start with one expression. So what could be the value of A over absolute value A? The result of this expression can be positive one or negative one. There are only two options. If A is a positive number, for example, five over absolute value of five is going to be one. If A is a negative number, negative four absolute value. So this is going to be negative four over absolute value of negative four becomes just four. And this ratio is negative one. So depending on whether this A is positive or negative, the result will be plus one or negative one. For each of the variables A, B, C, each of these expressions can be or plus one or negative one. So, and we have to see all possible options. So very first option, first option is if all of the numbers are positive, what happens if all of them are positive? All of the expressions are going to be one. So the result is going to be one plus one is three. And the second obvious case is if all of them are negative, then we will have a negative one in all three cases and the result is negative three. There are a couple more options. If only one of them is positive and two others are negative. In that case, we will have like one minus one minus one, which results in negative one. Or if only one of them is negative, two of them are positive. That's the fourth case where we have like A positive, B positive, C negative. So that will result in one plus one minus one. So with the definition of absolute values, this expression can have three different values. It could be negative positive three or negative positive one. So four different values of the expression. Given that X is between one and three. So which means X is between one and three. It's a positive number. So the absolute value of X is going to be X to itself for all positive numbers. So we can ignore this absolute value, but we cannot ignore the second one because if the number is between one and two, so it's greater than one. But if it's less than two, so in the first case, if the number is greater than one, it's given and, but it's up to two. In that case, the result of this expression is going to be, the, when you open the absolute value, the result is going to be not x minus two, but two minus x, because we should be subtracting smaller number from larger one in order to get positive number plus two x. So that would result in two plus x. So this expression would simplify to two plus x if x is between one and two. In the second case, x is greater than 2 but less than 3. In this case x would be greater than 2 and when we open the absolute values the result is going to be x minus 2 plus this 2x. So simplified x plus 2x 3x minus 2. When you simplify this expression there is the simplest form is conditional expression. When x is between 1 and 2 it's 2 plus x. If x is greater than 2 between 2 and 3 it's 3x minus 2. This is our first absolute value equation. In absolute value equations, since the everything inside the absolute value could be a positive number and negative number, you have to solve two different equations. So you have to solve it as 3x plus 2 is equal to 4. So absolute value of 4 is 4. That gives you 3x is 2, x is 2 over 3. But you should also solve that 3x plus 2 is negative 4. Because if this is negative 4 with the absolute value, that would become 4 again. This simplifies to so 3x is equal to negative 6 and x is negative 2. So this absolute value equation, the linear absolute value equation, has two different solutions. This version of absolute value equation is a little bit tricky. So there are two ways of solving this expression. Either you check all possible cases, you divide the problem into different cases, or just get rid of this absolute value expression by taking square root of both sides. I'm going to use quadratic equation because it's much more safer than the 
looking at all possible options. So what I'm going to do is rewrite it as like this and add 2x to the both sides. So this becomes this expression. Now you take the square of both sides. So when you take the square of both sides of the expression, it becomes, so you can ignore absolute values now and use the a plus b or a minus b square formula. So this is 25x square minus 20. So that's, and open the parentheses here as well, 4x square. Collect everything on the left side. Now you can factorize this expression. So my expression, the factorization of this expression is going to be 7x minus 1 and 3x minus 7 is 0. If you open the parentheses, you will get 21x squared minus 52x. Now with this problem, let's do the option of opening this, opening the absolute values. So we will divide the problem into several different cases. So since we have x minus 2 in absolute value and x minus 3 in absolute value, we will have numbers which are less than 2 in the first case. x is less than or equal to 2. In the second case, I will have numbers which are greater than 2, but less than 3. That's because numbers which are greater than 2 will result different sign here and different sign here. And the, lastly, numbers which are greater than 3. So let's start with the first case. If the numbers are less than 2, so less than two number will result a negative number here and negative number here. So which means when I open the absolute values, I will need to do two minus x and three minus x here. So subtract the smaller number from larger one is equal to one. So that's five minus two x is one. And if you solve this equation, x is two. And this number satisfies our initial condition. So x is equal to two. So that is our first solution. So now let's look at the numbers where x is strictly greater than two and less than three. So that means if x is greater than two, this part is going to be positive. So I can open it as x minus two. But since x is less than three, this is going to be negative. So I can open it as three minus x is going to be one. So if you simplify this expression, it's one is equal to one. So the true result, the result is true. So this is one is equal to one is true. So that makes this expression identities, which means any number between two and three works as a solution of this equation. So you could plug 2.1, 2.3, 2.5, any number works as a good solution for this expression. And let's see the last case when x is greater than 3. In both cases, if x is greater than 3 or equal, so we can just open the absolute values and we will get like x minus 2 plus x minus 3 is 1. So 2x is equal to 6, x is 3. So combining all these three results, so we have all numbers between 2 and 3 and 2 and 3. So the Solution set of this equation is any number from closed interval to 3. So any number starting from 2 up to 3 works as a good solution for this equation.